Flash floods have become a serious problem in Jordan due to rapid unplanned urbanization, the insufficient capacity of drainage systems, and climate change ramifications. It accounts for significant losses in life and damages to property. In response, UN Habitat implemented a project funded by the Government of Japan and in partnership with the Great Amman Municipality with the following outcomes. Improved protection and resilience to flooding in Amman. Reduced vulnerabilities of refugees and local communities to flash floods. Strengthened capacities of government and communities to better manage floods in urban areas in Jordan. To achieve these outcomes, UN Habitat implemented an integrated approach that focuses on several activities. The first flood risk assessment and flood hazard mapping of downtown Amman study, which identified and studied short, medium and long-term interventions and 120 locations for emergency action. It is a roadmap for developing a flood resilient city. The City Resilience Action Planning Tool, which is a participatory methodology developed by UN Habitat. الفيضانات اللي حطت بالأردن هاي السنة والسنوات السابقة أثرت نفسيا واقتصاديا على تجار وسط البلد نحن بالجلسات التشاورية مع الأخصائيين من UN Habitat ومن أمانة عمان إنه نحن عم ندرس الواقع اللي عم بصير أسبابه وطرق معالجته كيف بنقدر نحمي عمان ونزيد منعة مدينة عمان Green Infrastructure Pilot Projects Two pilot project concepts were participatorily developed. First, the Azuhur Green Triangle is at one of the 120 identified locations which sees significant stormwater runoff passing into downtown Amman. مشروع مثلث الزهور الأخضر هو مشروع ريادي مبني على فكرة البنية التحتية الخضراء أو ما يعرف بأنظمة تصريف مياه الأمطار الحضرية المستدامة ويسعى إلى إظهار مفهومين هما مفهوم الاحتجاز الحيوي والاحتفاظ بمياه الأمطار ومن ثم إطلاقها إلى أنظمة تصريف المياه الأمطار ببطء هذا مشروع نوعي لأول مرة ينفذ بالمدينة نتطلع أن يكون انطلاقة حقيقية لمئات المشاريع وأيضا لحلول استراتيجية أكبر في المستقبل القريب شكرا لليوان هابيتات وشكرا للحكومة اليابانية The second concept was chosen by the community through the city RAP tool It included rainwater harvesting systems at two buildings at the University of Jordan and one at the Greater Amman Municipality building. And a rain garden at an affordable housing unit in Ras Al Ain to collect and drain the rainwater into the underground water storage. Capacity building of local communities and officials. صار في تعاون مع اليو ان هابيتات في اقامه محاضرات تعنى في تدريب المجتمع المحلي في حوض عمان في خصوصا في منطقه وسط البلد وضواحي المشروع سهل تعلمنا شغلات كثير يعني تعلمنا كيف نستغل حتى نفايات المنزل يعني نزرع نفيد الكل وان شاء الله انه راح نساعد على انه ننشر هاي طريقه للكل حتى الكل يستفيد منها UN Habitat also built the capacities of GAM and other governmental staff to enhance the resilience of their cities through climate change plans and actions. Awareness raising campaigns. To sustain the project's efforts, UN Habitat conducted awareness campaigns. Additionally, manuals on how to set up a home water harvesting system were shared so that more people can enhance their resilience. I believe and I hope very strongly that this project can be a very, very good model for the future and also so it contributes a lot to reduction of the so flood, uh, flash flood so risk in the future. I hope so we Japanese government and the Japanese people would like to continue our collaboration with UN Habitat and so Greater Amman Municipality. Mm -hmm.